So my husband built this stone fireplace completely from scratch. I mean, he literally bought the stone molds and poured the concrete and made each stone by hand. And he did such an incredible job and made it look so beautiful that I really wanted to build something equally as beautiful for the mantle. We built it about a year and a half ago and there's been multiple pieces that have come and gone, but nothing has quite stuck. I got really inspired by some other crafters that I follow on Instagram and I found the perfect thing to make. A large decorative circle. And I've gotta say, I think it is my most favorite thing that I've ever made. And all it takes is a quarter inch sheet of ply, a little bit of glue, a little bit of paint, some lumber, and a lot of love. And if you love it just as much as I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. The first thing I'm gonna do is dry out my design. You're more than welcome to use mine or get those creative juices flowing and design your own. Now I'm gonna draw my circle on a quarter inch sheet of plywood. Easiest way to make a perfect circle is to cut a strip off your plywood and drill one small hole in either end, half the diameter of the circle apart. Then tack one end at the middle and drag your pencil around in the other. So when I tried to figure out the width of the boards for the piece, the first thing I did was figure out the diameter, which was 43 inches, and then I figured out that I had 10 boards going across, so I divided it by 10, making my boards 4.3 inches wide which they are not. Since our boards are all cut on 45 degree angles, the cut is going to be different. And we're going to bring in my husband to show us how. Okay, so the length that Heidi figured out when she divided the diameter of the circle by 10 was this distance here of 4.3 inches. So how do we figure that out? Use trigonometric functions. And we're using so much today. You guys might remember this, but I'm grade 11 algebra geometry. It's over what we actually know already. We know theta, which is 45 degrees, because that's the angle you're cutting the board on, right? So theta is equal to 45 degrees. And we figured out 4.3 inches is the hypotenuse, or C. So C is equal to 4.3. Now, what we want to find out? Well, A, or adjacent. So we're going to use cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Stay with me here, okay? So, cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is A divided by hypotenuse, which is C, right? And we know C already equal to 4.3, and we know theta. So let's plug that into our formula. Find cos and tan on your calculator, so it's cos of 45. And it comes out as 3.04 inches. So that's our actual width of our board. Don't worry, guys. It's really not that hard. boards on 45 degree angles at their approximate length and laid them all in place. Once the pieces are all in place, you can draw the circle on again so we know where our lines for our design need to go and where we need to paint. Now we can cut our lines for our pattern. Once that's done, it's time to paint. I marked each piece with a letter to indicate color and pulled them out one color at a time to paint. I also suggest marking which quarter of the circle each piece came from as you take it out to make it easier to put back together. I did not do this, but I sure wish I did. I painted the sides also just in case the wood shifted or shrank at all, but you don't have to follow this step. Following the pattern we drew, we can piece it back together and glue it all down. Then I weighted it all down and waited for it to dry. I left mine overnight. Once you take the weights off, draw the circle on one more time to guide your cut. I put a cardboard circle that was slightly smaller than my actual circle on top of my piece to prevent the jigsaw from scratching the finished surface. 
Now clamping your piece will make cutting it way easier. So clamp the best you can and get jiggy with your jigsaw. I was really nervous for this part, but it ended up being easier than I had anticipated and went off without a hitch. We're almost done. Give the edges a quick sand and seal it off with a coat of air cleaner too. Used two D hooks and some heavy duty hanging wire on the back of mine to hang it up. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you all again soon. XOX Heidi.